What's good, everybody? You know what time it is, right on time. Let's get into this. This one is wild. So, Bad Baby, every you know, Bad Baby, everybody likes that image, which she stands for. Bad Baby herself, okay? This young lady has become a suit, a phenom off of being on a Dr. Phil show for, for just bad behavior. Is talking about having Chief Keith tattooed on our body six times. Who is she serving? The number six. Who is her master? Guys, it's very simple. First off, you're not supposed to get tattoos. Understand if you have them, you can re you can repent for it and you're forgiven. But she's bragging about them and saying that they're for a man. Get this, yo. And this is why I don't play with God. Like people think it's yo. I don't. This, like you can play with God if you want, yo. You risk your life. You risk everything. All right, First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse fourteen. Let all your things be done with charity. So everything she does, it should be done to help other people. Not that you're supposed to showboat your body around. It's the temple of God. You don't tat it and brag about it. That's not what you're to do. First John chapter four, verse eight. He that loveth not knoweth not God. For God is love. She said that she loves Chief Keith so much. She can't like she can't see her life involving him when he's doing all this stuff. He got multiple baby mothers. He got like what six or seven baby mothers, but she's saying she loves him so much. Does that make sense? Is that normal thinking? Is that a normal girl? Come on. First John chapter four, verse eight. They are of the world. Therefore, speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another that simple is she do you think chief key shows her the same admiration if this man got like five six other girls most of them he got kids with does he love her above and beyond or does he have to take is he able to make a choice who he feel like loving come on fact is fact we're not going to play around with it because you play around with God's word, you will pay the price. And that's anyone, okay? Let's talk about her love for this guy real quick again. Because this is crazy. Colossians chapter 3 verse 14. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. This man, he's giving money to six, seven different women. Is he riding around rich? Is he have money for all these women and to be on a date with this woman? She's willing to be a sixth, seventh wheel. That makes no sense. Colossians chapter three, verse 14, starting at 11. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness, of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body. And be ye thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in the word 
or deed do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. People do evil and wicked constantly. Trust in God. He's going to deal with them. Yo, everybody, yo, what's craziest thing is when you're trying to get peace in your understanding, the devil's going to do whatever from the noise you heard to somebody doing something evil. Like he's going to do it. Understand that he's going to get revenge. They're going to think they're safe. Go somewhere. Something bad happened. They're, they're like, oh, God gets revenge. You got to be thankful and give thanks. Because once your soul's on the line, it's gone. Once you lay your eyes down and you close them, it's over. Do you have Christ or not? God don't play around. Y'all think he's joke? He played? No, not at all. He's very serious. Mark chapter 12, starting at 29. And Jesus answered him. The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. All right. Right there. Right there. Matthew chapter 22, starting at 36. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The first and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. People are devoid of love. If you have no love, if you choose to hate somebody, that's your choice. But you're going to get the ending of hate. <laughs> you're going when your ending comes. Don't be like, God, you didn't help. No, your hate took you to where you belonged. Yes, your hate gave you your ending. You deserve right there. John chapter 13, verse 34, starting a new commandment. I give unto you that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Thirty five. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If ye have love one to another, having love in your heart shows you that you're with God. If you have no love or you're choosy, I want to choose to hate to let hate him or I hate this person because of this and it's unrighteous. Then you're not of God. There's nothing godly about you. You're headed to the wicked ending, whether you're breathing now or not. You're headed to a wicked ending right there. This ain't my. Chief Keith, how do, what music does he make? Does he make wholesome music? And she's saying all this love. Does he have that love for you? Come on, man. Leviticus chapter 27, verse 10. He shall not alter it nor change it. A good for a bad or a bad for a good. And if he shall at all change beast for beast, then it in the exchange thereof shall be holy. Everything you do concerning God has to be holy in the intent. If it's not, you're devoid of love. Again, it's one to one. It matches. It's things he does. Chief Keith, we talked about stunting. He shows off his jewelry. That's one. He shows off his, uh, his gun, his teeth, his watch, his necklace, everything. That's all wickedness. That's not love. That's bad. So what good? She says she loves him. What good thing can you say about the bad he does? Is his music good? Is he giving people energy to do good? He's cursing and talking about killing in his music day and night. That's not of God. So what's good? Come on. It's about being real. And matter of fact, him switching bad for good and making bad things good. His ending is going to be crazy. That's why most of these celebrities, they don't go out and hang out. You don't see them going places. They go somewhere specific. Go right back home. Go somewhere specific. Right back home. Not like us. They don't ride around. They go right back home. Because day and night, Satan's hunting them. They're well known. Someone sees them, recognizes them. They could be in danger instantly. The devil could put something on their heart. Like, look at his jewels. Look at that. And the person could try and take them out. That is their life. So it's not a good thing at all. Oh, 
Yo, this is a crux. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. I'm gonna say, one more time. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion, a friend of fools shall be destroyed, period. That means if you're around people that are foolish, that don't know life, that don't know, that just talk, that do, like their actions don't match, match their prayers. Like they say, I believe in God and all they do is evil things. Oh, I think of God. Oh, they do bad things. They encourage you to do dumb things, but they can't encourage you to do good. They encourage you to do bad. Don't want to encourage you to make good choices. They're a fool. And if you're their companion, you'll be destroyed just for being their friend. Yo, that's how real this is. Honestly, yo, that's crazy. So even though she says she loves him, just being the friend of somebody like that, she is in danger. She got to be careful. It's not a joke. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Remember, Chief Keith. Lord, show me where it's at. Here we go. Luke chapter 19, verse 47. And he taught daily in the temple, but the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him. This is Jesus. These people wanted to kill him. Let's see what God said. Glory be to God, yo, right now. I hope everyone's day is going well. Hope God blesses you, gives you something to smile about today, gives you a blessing that you're looking for. I pray he takes care of you and leads your family and you to the right place. All right, Luke chapter 19, starting at the 44th verse. And shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and thy, and they shall not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. And he went into the temple and began to cast out them that sold therein and them that bought, saying unto them, it is written, my house is the house of prayer. But ye have made it a den of thieves, and he taught daily in the temple. But the chief priests and the scribes and the chief of the people sought to destroy him, and could not find what they might do, for all the people were very attentive to him. Understand, you gotta be attentive to listen to God. She's attentive listening to Chief Keith. She needs to listen for God. She's making decisions thinking of Chief Keith. You need to know God's word. Do you know what he tells you? Does he, Do you know what he expects of you as a person, as a woman, as a girl? Do you know? You don't. You don't know because you don't read. So you're focused on the wrong thing. It's dangerous. These people are in danger. They don't care. They're just taking the danger. She's not even focused on the fact of his lifestyle. All right, let's check this. A froward man saw of strife and a whisper separated chief friends. People that gossip in secret. How, how is this fake? That's us. When someone gossip behind your back, do you not get mad? Like, yo, why are you talking behind my back? Are you still their friend? No, you're not. Right here. Let's go. Proverbs chapter 16, starting at 25th verse. Oh, oh, yo. Thank you, Lord. 25th verse. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. He that laboreth, labor for himself, for his mouth craveth it of him. An ungodly man diggeth up evil, and in his lips there is as a burning fire. A froward man sold strife and a whisperer separated chief friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leadeth him into the way that is not good. He shutteth his eyes to devise froward things. Moving his lips, he bringeth evil to pass. The hoary head is a crown of glory if it be found in the way of righteousness. Wow. She needs to search out better people, better friends, better surroundings. She's about to make 
friends with somebody who's fraud, who's lost, that needs God too. She doesn't have God. They both need him. How are they going to find him doing what each other's doing? Because one's not seeking it. Neither is the other. Where's their God in there? You're both lost. Right on time. 